Hi guys, this is Stefan from Tech Testers and welcome to our channel. Now we usually don't do a lot of video content, but we have something pretty interesting here today. Some of you might already have seen it from some of the Computex coverage, but Gigabyte Aorus is releasing their first memory, RGB memory obviously. And we managed to get our hands on it as one of the first uh, worldwide, so we're, we're quite excited about that. And today we're going to show you how it performs and what you can expect from it. Let's start by taking a look at the modules themselves and the first thing you notice when you pick these out of the package is these guys are actually heavy. Gigabyte has put a proper heatsink on top and even though you can argue the value of it, it actually feels good and makes it or gives it a good first impression. It has a grey uh, brushed look which definitely looks nice. Whether you're going to see something of this in your finished build obviously depends on your case but again, you just bought it, you'd pick it up, it actually feels and looks pretty nice. And this is where it starts to get interesting because two of these modules are not actual memory modules. They're dummy modules that serve no purpose other than to add RGB to the empty spaces that would normally fall in a 16 gigabyte memory kit. Now you may wonder why do I need this, but the reality is that at least here in the Netherlands there's simply no 16 gig memory kit for sale that has four modules. While if you want your RGB looking the best, you want these four. So that gives you one alternative or one option until today and that is to go and buy 32 gigs in memory. Now that sounds pretty nice but considering the current memory prices where a 32 gig kit will cost you something between 350 to 450 euros or US dollars, that is a lot of money if you're not going to need it. If you're a gamer, if you're just doing some light photoshop work or light video work, 16 gigs is going to be plenty for the foreseeable future, so why spend something like 150 to 200 more on something you don't actually need. Now you could argue that you don't really need RGB in the first place, however the reality is that people want RGB and we cannot really fault Gigabyte for making a product or making something that people really want to have. Because let's admit it, when we put these units to work it actually looks very very good. Obviously as our name implies we do actually test the hardware and we had the luxury of comparing this RGB kit to the Corsair HyperX Crucial and Gel RGB memory kits, as well as a bunch of others in the graph that don't have any RGB features. However, even though testing is very important for a lot of the product categories that we review, when it comes to memory, it's mostly a question of not making a mistake. Now, even though we see some gaps in IDA64 memory copy benchmarks, when we start looking at the practical ones like the SuperPy or the Firestrike benchmarks, the scores are simply too close to call. Anything in the 2933 range to 20 to 3400 range, it's pretty much on par. So again, we see that there's a very limited upside to having faster memory. Now, Aorus choosing the Samsung B dies running at 3200 MHz is a reasonable choice. We would argue even a bit on the fancy side of what's really needed. However, solid performance, nothing to fault them here. So we can move on. So the performance numbers are great, the visual department, in the visual department it's great, and let's see how they fare in practice. So we stuffed this into our Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Gaming 7, installed it, set the XMP profile, installed the software, and everything was pretty much the way we'd expect it to work. You can sync color in one particular color, you can join the effects with, the, with your motherboard, GPU, and so on, and there's the default rainbow wave. Now there is a few things about the software we, we don't like. First of all, it's fairly sluggish and it, it just doesn't feel intuitive and doesn't have any level of polish. So it feels like you're using a, a five or 10 year old software package. It works at its core, but it's definitely something they should improve. One of the things they should also improve is to add more multicolor effects. Because the rainbow wave looks great, syncing one color with the rest of your system looks great. But we really feel like they should do something that you can customize it to your own taste with multiple colors and multiple effects and such an option is completely missing right now. So aside from the software, what did we run into? Well everything was working fine when we put it into our Gigabyte board, but as soon as we grabbed an Asus board, we couldn't get the system to post at all. We took out the dummies, the system posts fine, we add the dummies, there's like, the system simply does not start up. We grabbed another Asus board, the Z370F Gaming, and we rented it the same issue. So it's definitely not something that Gigabyte wants to happen because they even made a software package specifically meant for other manufacturers. So they're not trying to lock you into Gigabyte motherboards. However, it's very early on in the development, sorry, very early on in the retail process. So this is definitely something we need to keep in mind whether this memory is going to work with other motherboards. For now, if you're considering it, we would really recommend you look at Gigabyte boards because we tested, we tested two of those and those worked fine. 
So let's conclude. Gigabyte has a nice piece of hardware on their hands here. The memory ICs are, that they use are proper, the heat sinks are proper, the RGB brightness is proper, and simple as the dummy module idea is, it actually works and helps it look better than other 16 gig kits on the market. Competition only coming from 32 gig kits. Now there is the, the two things to consider are one, the compatibility, especially with the ACES boards we tested so far, and the software definitely needs work and especially more multicolor effects. Aside from that though, if you can spot this for a reasonable price and a small price premium over other 16 gig kits, we feel like this is a pretty good deal that Gigabyte's offering here. That's it. Thanks you guys for watching. We hope it was uh, useful and enjoyable. Give us a like, dislike, let us know what we can improve for next time and we hope to see you guys around in the next video. Bye bye.